Hi, I'm Håkon Kvidal from the Norwegian Academy of Music and in this tutorial I'll show you how to set up Jamalus for networked music performance. When using Jamalus, the musicians connect to a server that works as a virtual rehearsal room. This is what we call networked music performance. There will be some delay and uh, this delay is called latency. The latency is, called, uh, is caused by your audio interface, your computer, the Jamalus application, the router you connect your computer to and foremost the internet. All these components add some latency and the key to a successful setup is to reduce the overall latency by minimizing as much as possible at all stages. On the other hand, we must remember that there's always latency, even when we perform in the same room. A distance of 5 meters will cause a latency of approximately 15 milliseconds. When we perform, we seldom, we're seldom aware of this delay. Some says that a skilled musician can tolerate a delay up to 30 milliseconds, but it depends on what type of music we are playing and of course the musicians involved. Generally the latency will be quite low with good internet connections and if you are geographically close to your fellow musicians. When distance increase latency could get too large for playing in real time. You can get used to delay and dropouts just like we deal with disturbance playing together in the same room. And after a while you'll get used to it and focus on playing and the networked music performance experience can be overall positive. Jamalus is not a video conferencing system. It's audio only but compared with Zoom, Teams and other video conferencing solutions Jamalus has less delay. To use Jamalus you need to connect your computer to the router with an Ethernet cable. Wi-Fi will cause too much delay. If your computer doesn't have an Ethernet socket you may use an Ethernet adapter. You do need a computer with Windows or Mac OS, an Apple computer. Jamalus does not work on mobile phones or tablets. You need a microphone that is possible to place pretty close to the sound source and an audio interface with low latency. If you're using Windows operating system and your audio interface doesn't support ASIO or the provided driver adds too much latency, you may use a driver called ASIO for all. A download link is in the description below this video. Instead of a microphone and an audio interface, you might as well use an USB, USB microphone that connects directly to your computer without an audio interface. You do need headphones to avoid feedback and you must have as little traffic on your home network as possible. You should pause synchronization for all cloud storage services such as Google Backup and Sync, Dropbox and Google Drive. If you share network with others, tell them not to stream movies, listen to music from streaming services, have video meetings or do other activities that cause traffic on the network. And please do a restart of your computer before your Jamalus sessions. To use Jamalus you need to connect to a server. You may run a server on your own computer and that will provide you with as little latency as possible. However, to run your own server you have to open some specific ports in your router and that's a little complicated. So to make things a little easier, the Academy has put up some servers for you to use. Here's how you reserve a server. Visit Time Edit where you book all the rooms at the Academy. You'll find a link 
for the booking system in the description below this video and log in with your user. Then you choose web booking. Here at the system you just type Jamalus in room and click at the desired date and time to make a reservation. You should notice the full name of your Jamalus server and provide this name to your fellow musicians so they know which server to connect to. If all the Jamalus rooms are occupied, please drop us an email to let us know that we have to create more servers. Okay, let's have a look at the installation of Jamalus. The first thing you do is go to sourceforge.net slash project slash llcon slash the download link is or the link is provided in the description below and here you just hit download wait for a while and the download will start double tap the downloaded file to start the installation if windows tells you that it has protected your pc and stopped the installation just choose more info and then hit run anyway and if your apple computer tells you that the files cannot be opened then tap the installation file with two fingers or right click it and choose open and open one more time okay let's configure Jamalus the first thing is to start the Jamalus application here's my suggestion on how you start it on Mac OS just hold down the command key while you hit spacebar type Jamalus and then hit the enter key to start the chosen application and you may do something similar on Windows just hit the Windows key type Jamalus and choose Jamalus under apps now if Apple tells you that it cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified then you just have to go to the application folder where you find all your applications tap Jamalus with two fingers or right click on it and choose open and then open again here's Jamalus the first thing we do is go to the view menu and choose my profile type your name so your fellow musicians can see your name in the session close the settings window uh, close the window um, now let's hit the settings button here in the left section of the settings menu you'll find all the settings for your audio interface click here to choose which device to use in Mac OS I have to choose the import where my microphone is connected mine is connected to my babyface audio interface out should be the device where your headphones are connected my headphones are connected to my babyface audio interface so I choose this one in Windows you just choose your audio interface if you have an audio interface interface with several ins and outs you may choose which ones to use here you should enable small network buffers and choose the smallest possible buffer if the sound gets distorted then you'll have to increase the buffer size in Windows you can hit the as you setup button and choose the lowest possible buffer size and the same here if the sound gets distorted just increase the buffer size you may lower the latency by disabling auto for jitter buffer and lower these faders 
but you may also experience dropouts and distortion. Try experimenting with Jitter Buffer when testing the system with a fellow musician. I leave Auto Jitter Buffer enabled here. To reduce processing and the amount of data that is transferred between your PC and the server, choose Mono in all your channels. In new client level, you may set the loudness for each new musician that joins the session. Sometimes people can come in pretty loud, so I set this to 25 to avoid people coming in really loud. It's easy enough to turn them up later. In custom central server address, type jamalus.nmh.no. It's important that you type exactly this. Okay, let's close the setting window. Let's connect to the server. Hit the connect button. In list, choose custom. Here I will see the available servers. And I can also see that there's no musicians connected to these servers. Choose the server you want to connect to and hit connect. Okay, I will now see that audio are getting out of my Jamla system and are sent into the server. In the left section, you may, you may mute yourself so other musicians won't hear you, as noted here. <laughs> So when you mute yourself here, no one are able to hear you. If you want to mute your own signal in your headphones, you may do this with this mute button. If none of the mute buttons are enabled, you will probably hear two signals. One of them are delayed because it's coming from the server. To avoid this strange combination of the original and the delayed signal, just mute yourself. If you want to hear yourself in headphones without latency, you need to have an audio interface with some kind of monitoring. I strongly advise you to set up and test Jamless on your computer the day before your first Jamless session or even earlier. This way you'll enter the session well prepared and spend the session playing music instead of solving technical issues. It is possible to connect to the server without making the reservation in time edit, but remember to check if there's already musicians connected to the server here and check that before you connect okay thank you and goodbye